Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the new Guided Upright tool in Adobe Camera Raw. Now before we apply the Guided Upright, we want to make sure that we visit the Lens Correction panel, and under Profile we want to enable both the Remove Chromatic Aberration as well as the Enable Profile Corrections. Then we'll select the new Transform tool, and I can do that by either selecting it here from the tool area, or I can use the keyboard shortcut using Shift-T. Then on the right-hand side, under the Transform area, you can see all of the different options for Upright, including the new Guided Upright. Once I select that, I can create up to four lines in my image in order to help correct the perspective of the photograph. So I'll start here in the window, and click and drag out my first guide. Now, when I release the cursor, nothing's going to happen at the moment. I need to create my second guide so that it can correct the vertical perspective of the image. So as my second guide, I'll go ahead and use this partition back here in the back of the train. I'll click and drag out. If I need to reposition these, I can click on either one of the dots there in order to reposition them. Once I've got those corrected, then I can start working on the horizontal lines. So I'll use the top of the partition and click and drag out my first horizontal line. You can drag out multiple horizontal lines, but in this photograph, we really don't need to. I like it as is. If you ever find that the grid is getting in your way, you can toggle it off using Shift plus G, and then to toggle it back on, use the same keyboard shortcut. You'll notice there's also an option for a loop. Let's go ahead and select that, and then I'm going to move to the second image, which is a panorama. I'll switch back to the hand tool so that I can access my panels over on the right hand side to make sure that, again, I go to lens correction and remove the chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Once I've done this, then I'll use Shift plus T to select the transform tool, and then click for Guided Upright. Now, even though I've enabled the Loop option here, I think I'm also going to want to zoom in. So I'll hold down both the Command and the Control key and click and drag with the Scrubby Zoom. When I release the mouse, we can see that I get that Loop feature. I'll click and drag out to create my first vertical line. Then I'll use the Bird's Eye View in order to quickly navigate to the other side of the panorama. I'll hold down the H key and click and hold down the mouse to zoom out. Then reposition the rectangle over to the right hand side where these three buildings are and then release the mouse and release the H key. That'll automatically zoom me into that area and I can use the loop in order to create the secondary vertical line. Once I release the cursor, Camera Raw will automatically straighten that. Now to zoom out quickly so that I can see the entire image, I'll use Command-0. And then, starting on the left-hand side, right where the water meets the land there, I'll click, drag out all the way to the right-hand side in order to straighten the base of the waterfront. Of course, you can go back in at any time if you want to make adjustments to any of these guides that you've drawn out. All you need to do is click on either end using the little circles and readjust them. Of course, I can make an adjustment and if I want to undo that, Camera Raw also supports Command-Z or Control-Z to undo. Now in this image, I would also like to scale the image up a little bit to get rid of the transparent areas at the top. So I'll use the Scale option and just move that to the right a little bit. But you'll notice that I'm cutting off the tree on the right-hand side, so I can use the new Offset slider, just moving that to the left a little bit to balance out what I see within that image area. If I don't want to use the sliders and I have my cursor maybe somewhere in the image area and I want to reposition it, I can use Option plus Command and drag left, right, up, or down. If I add the Shift key while I drag, of course that will constrain it to a horizontal or a vertical movement. So let's go ahead and just reposition it right there. And there you have it, the new Guided Upright in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.